Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will be creating a blazing flame and smoke animation inside of After Effects. It's going to be super fun to create and it's very easy. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right guys, so here we are in After Effects. Now before we start this tutorial, there is one thing that I want you to do is to download a free preset to which I have mentioned the link in the description. So download that preset and drag that preset into this specified path, depending on whichever After Effects version that you're using. Just drag and drop it in the presets. And if you're already running After Effects, make sure to restart it and that's all. So after you do that, let's start off with creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080. Let's call this smoke or let's call this flames. 10 seconds long, 30 FPS, hit OK. Then here I have a cool ninja illustrator file which I will be using for this particular tutorial. You are free to use any text or logo if you want to. Then right click and create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call this copy. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Call this paste and put this below the copy. Then select the copy adjustment layer and go into animation presets and there we have the presets that we added. So let's drag and drop in the CC time blend effects onto the copy adjustment layer. So as you can see, the instance is set to copy. So copy this, hit control C and paste it on the paste adjustment layer and then set the instance to paste, set the accumulation to 100 and clear to transparent from clear to current frame. That's all. And then let's again create a new adjustment layer called this effect. All right. Make sure this adjustment layer is between the copy and the paste adjustment layer. So we can change the color of this so that we know it's the most important layer as of now. Now the first effect that I would like to add here is turbulence displays. Let's double click to add that. Set the amount to five. Size is set to hundred. That is fine. Let's animate the offset. So I'm going to keep my time indicator at the very start, create a keyframe on the offset go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's set this to 3000. All right. Let's increase the complexity all the way up to 10. And I want to animate the evolution. So I will be using a very simple expression. So hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution and type in time into 250. So there we have something like this. Also, I'm going to change the displacement from turbulence to twist. That is looking much better, I think. Now I'm going to add another effect called Minimax. Let's double click to apply that. Set the radius to two. So it's going to expand the edges. And I'm going to change the channel from color to alpha and color. So it enhances the overall look. Then let's add a transform effect on this. All right. So as you can see, it looks pretty weird at the moment, but we don't need to worry. Also, one more thing that if you find any kind of glitches while working with this effect, go ahead into edit and keep purging all memory or uh, going to purge and all memory and disk cache. All right. So this is something that we get. Now what I'm going to do is let's change the position of transform from 960 to 970. So this is going to help animate the uh, smoke at the right side. Let's go edit purge again and let's preview this. So we have something like this, which is fine as of now. Now let's hit control Y to create a new solid layer called this a fractal. Going to fix and preset and add a fractal noise effect. Let's animate the evolution of fractal noise. So I'm going to hold alt again, click on the evolution stopwatch, type in time into 250. So we have a basic animation of a fractals just like that. And then we can just um, simply hide this layer. 
just like that now go into the effect adjustment layer again and add an effect called calculation and now what i'm going to do set the second layer to the fractal noise that we just created and set this to effect and mask set the second layer opacity to 20 all right and then um, set the blending mode of this to silhouette luma i guess and turn off the preserve transparency so now let's go back go into edit purge all this cache and let's preview this so as you can see we get this really nice look pretty cool now select the paste adjustment layer I'm, and i'm going to create a mask so i'm going to create a mask like so and then go to around four seconds now i want the animations to start from bottom and then go upwards so let's go into mask path and create a keyframe go back and hit v select these points and drag them below so now we have something like this which looks pretty nice now again if you see this kind of flickers you can always go ahead and purge the memory now what i want to do is create a mask on the effect adjustment layer so we can randomly create a mask like that and then we have to parent the effect mask to the paste mask i hope that makes sense so parent the mask path of the effect to mask path of the paste adjustment layer and also i'm going to add a feather of 50 so let's parent the feather to the feather of a paste adjustment layer so that it's still at the start and then it starts animating and now you can see it looks pretty damn cool so this is the base of our animation or the flames basically we should call it smoke i think that would make much more sense all right now let's create another composition called this render as this is going to be our main render comp drag and drop pin the smoke composition hit ctrl y to create a new solid we can call this bg for background i'm gonna keep it black all right that is looking good so now we have the smoke let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's call this glow all right let's change the blending mode of this to screen i believe then the first effect that i want to add here is the set matte effect all right make sure to click on invert mat then go into effects and presets again search for curves double click to apply that go into the alpha channel and i'm going to drag a point just like that and one just like that you can solo this so you can see what i'm doing here so something like this should be fine i think then let's go into effects and preset and search for fast uh, box blur double click to apply that set this to around five should be fine so we have something like this all right again i can go into edit purge all dash cache so yeah that is fine and then duplicate the curves hit ctrl d to duplicate it and put this below the fast box blur so we can actually close everything and drag this below like so so we have that intensity and we can make any adjustments if we want to now let's go ahead and add a nice color to this so to add the color i will be using another free plugin from video copilot called the vc color vibrance you can download it all the links are in the description below and i'm going to make this a nice blue color kind of like this and then click on fill empty background all right okay so this is looking pretty damn cool now let's go ahead and add some glows now you can of course use the default glow but i'm going to use deep glow which is a paid plugin by the way but you're free to use the default uh, glow that comes in after effects i think this is a pretty amazing plugin to use or create glows i'm going to increase this and i would highly recommend you to and you know invest in this particular plugin i just absolutely love this and then i'm going to create a new adjustment layer again called this noise I'm going to add some noise on this because i don't want to get any kind of color bendings or anything so let's add a noise uncheck this and set this to around five percent should be fine or maybe it's too much four percent so now if i preview this you can see we get this really intense look i think the glow is way too intense 
gonna bring that down to 0.6 or something yeah so now if i preview this you can see we get this really nice smoke so i think this is looking pretty good but we want to create a flamey effect like a fire so i'm going to change the color of this to nice orange color and you can always tweak the curves too to adjust the fall off of the fire as you can see keep it really high and then i'm going to duplicate this hit Control d and let's pull this back this is the fire glow so i'm going to call this fire and i'm going to call this a flame and i'm going to turn flame into a blue color so let's go into the color vibrance and set this to a nice dark blue and then we can adjust the curves so now when I preview this, you can see we get the flame and we get the fire as well. So I can edit, purge, and let's preview this. So you can see we get the flames first and then we have the fire effect. So you can create multiple copies, but make sure you don't do that too much. If not, it would crash the complete software. And I don't think you will face any issues while rendering, so you don't need to worry much about it. Also, I'm going to create an overlay, hit control Y, call this uh, blackout and then go to around six seconds, hit T, create and keyframe on the opacity, set this to zero, go to seven seconds and set this to hundred. So now let's do edit, push all this cache, set this to full and I'm going to preview it. so there we go pretty awesome effect looks pretty amazing and the best part is that you can anytime swap this with a text with a logo or anything so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new here and press that bell icon so you always get notified you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motion and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon all the links are in the description below with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.